Hello, my name is Amber, and I'm a technical sales engineer with SmartBear Software. Today, I'll show you how AlertSite UXM can help you maintain or even improve the standards of availability and timeliness that matter to you and your company. An SLA, or Service Level Agreement, is where an expected level of service is formally defined. These agreements govern metrics such as the response time of various elements on your page, as well as the availability of your website or application. In a nutshell, you set the metrics that you deem acceptable for your business, such as availability and performance. Availability is defined as services being available from a specific location, whereas uptime is defined by your website or application being available from at least one location. For example, if you were monitoring from three locations and one location could not access the desired services for a 24-hour period, you would have 66% availability, but your uptime would be 100% because the remaining two locations did not receive errors. Clicking on the Summary option under the SLAs menu will bring up your SLAs. At the top of the Summary window, you'll see a Navigation option which can be accessed by clicking the downward arrow. From this menu, you can search for, view, or edit your current SLAs, or add a new SLA. The first step is to choose the monitor or monitors this SLA will apply to. Give your SLA a descriptive, unique name and define goals for your availability, uptime, if applicable, and performance. For this SLA, my availability goal is 99% and my performance goal is 25 seconds. After entering the metrics for my SLA, I'll click Finish. Now I can see that the monitor I've selected is 99.65% compliant with the SLA I've just configured. Operating periods and exclusions allow you to block out times when you do not want your SLAs to apply. Monitors will still run, however the results are not included in SLA calculations. This can be extremely useful for establishing time frames when you know your performance or availability may be impacted, such as a production release or other website maintenance. If you should miss a release or other known event, you can choose to exclude measurements during a specific time frame by entering an exclusion. Now that you've created an SLA, you can generate reports with either detailed or summary SLA information under the Reports menu. These reports can be viewed instantly, downloaded or printed, emailed to yourself or others, and even scheduled to run on a regular basis. You can also access the reporting API, which will allow you to generate the report externally so that you can import the data directly into your own reporting system. Today, I discussed SLAs and showed you how to create them, edit them, and report on the data they provide. Thank you for watching.